My friend and I took a 14 day road trip around Iceland and this is the first vlog out of many. Remember to subscribe if you want to see all the magical things that you can see on this beautiful and spectacular island. We are flying to Iceland in like 30 minutes or something and I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I haven't vlogged for a while but I'm gonna vlog this trip and there's gonna be many fun vlogs coming so yes. But we are going to Iceland, I'm so excited! Want the good, want the bad, all the feelings Want you happy and sad in between them If there's one thing I truly believe in Ordinary love, ordinary love We have arrived to Reykjavik We came late last night And now we are getting ready to go We're gonna go downtown And then uh, just buy a few things And then I think tomorrow morning at some point we're gonna start our road trip we have been planning and writing stuff down and preparing ourselves yes okay you <laughs> but look at this view i don't know if you can see it probably on camera but it's so good it's so beautiful it's very windy wow We are inside the church <laughs> and there's a lot of people. We're going up into the tower. What's it called? Hartgrimskirke. <laughs> Try to say that. We are up at the top of the church and it has like a 360 view. Around a little. Look at this. Maybe I should put this strap on my camera. It's very high up. And then the last side is over here. It is truly just gorgeous. I need to take some pictures also. Wow, I can't wait to drive all around. <laughs> we just got something to eat and now we're just looking around Reykjavik city square, like the center, and we are inside the iceware shop just looking around for a few things it's just fun to stroll around and we got a hot dog and a sledding hot dog everything tastes different here so you know i gotta try it after just shopping around a bit we walked around town and it is just so beautiful in Reykjavik it's just amazing and it was the most beautiful weather we were so lucky with it um, this you can see here is like a government building, government, gov government office kind of thing, yeah. Uh, and then just the beautiful streets. There were so many colorful buildings and the road was painted with the, the rainbow flag. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful pond thing, I guess you can call it. Um, and then we went inside to get a cup of coffee and I think her dad got a beer if I remember correctly this is Annika <laughs> and then uh, we walked around a little bit more and then the next thing you see here is actually where the Kardashians got a hot dog I think I think it was in the um, series and yeah I just filled it for that and this is a bakery and then we went shopping for some camping gear that we were missing and went over to her grandparents and got some amazing food that I'm gonna talk about in just a moment. And the next thing you'll see is us going to the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> we just had some amazing food at her grandmother's place. Very nice. And now we're going to the Blue Lagoon. So it's very exciting. I'm so happy. 
seven, no, 17.34 and it's 5.30 if you take like American. Yeah, 5.30. Yeah, 5.30. So let's go. We have like 40 minutes drive, 45. It's gonna be a good evening. It's been a very good day. With a new car today. Yeah. No, not even today. This is our second car of the oh, day. Yes. It's very important. Yes. It's very nice to uh, have the local experience of everything. <laughs> Okay, hello guys. I'm just gonna go inside the car so it doesn't get windy in the microphone and you can see me properly. But today is the day that we are starting our road trip and I'm so excited. Yesterday we went to the Blue Lagoon and that was also just an amazing experience. 10 out of 10. It is one of the more expensive lagoons here on the island and we're gonna visit a lot more. So stay tuned for that and I'm gonna give my overall reviews in the end. But yeah, Blue Lagoon is a bucket list kind of thing. It's just something you have to do at least once. And it was so fun and very beautiful and very hot. <laughs> very, very hot. Especially when new water was being pumped in. Very, very hot, but very nice. And today it's one o'clock right now. We've used the morning for a bit of shopping and preparing. We bought almost everything we needed yesterday, but today we're just going food shopping and getting the last few things that we need. But we are pretty much all done. We bought a table that's here and then we have all the stuff here. We have to reorganize the car before we leave so I've just taken everything out. And Annika, my friend, also has her stuff. Uh, she's up in the apartment right now. But yeah, we have to reorganize a bunch of things so we can fit it all into this car. And yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'm very excited. After we do this, we are going food shopping and I'm very excited to look through all this stuff. They have so many things from America. I just love it. And I'm also feeling so grateful. This is just a once in a lifetime kind of trip because I know someone from here. So the whole Iceland thing is just it's very different from, from if I was going here alone or with someone who didn't know the island. But knowing people here and getting the family experience, hello, it's just very different. And you guys waving at me from up there, hello. But yeah, I'm so excited to get started. You can also see the mountains so much clearer today. It's a good day. It's a good life and I'm so grateful. We are on pack now and ready to go. First stop. On our little trap. Woohoo! <laughs>
Annika just dropped me off at a mall and now I'm going into Cronan, I think it's called. Walking around. She's gonna drive her dad home and then come get me. But I love looking around in stores. So this is gonna be fun. Over your head. Now I'm done talking. This time I might go out with my friends. And I don't want you sad blue eyes. You know everything about They have so much fitness food in here and I just love it. I love trying new stuff that is a little bit healthier. But I also found some stuff that I love from home. So I'm gonna try some new things and also get some old things that I know are just going straight into my heart. We have these, this is not healthy or fitness, but I have these uh, Reese's dipped pretzels and I'm gonna try them. I've never seen that before, but I love me some Reese's. I also have a lot of different other stuff, but yes. I'm just enjoying myself, it's so fun. This is my all-time, no, not this, I thought it was the same, but this is my all-time favorite Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I just love it so much. I get it every time I'm in America or Canada, which is not a lot of times, but when I was a child, it was. I loved it. Always leaving, then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to blame. To our first destination it took us like one and a half hours to get here and we have to go up to the little restaurant that's up here go to the toilet maybe get a little thing to eat i'm a little bit hungry not just after snacks and then we're gonna go down to two waterfalls i think i'm gonna show you them and she's probably gonna say what they're called because i can't pronounce that i really need to pee so that's the first thing on the agenda Okay, that was spectacular. So beautiful. And the best part is, it's kind of hidden because when you come from the road, it just looks like mountains and a lot of green greenery. But when you go down, take the small roads, it's just the most beautiful waterfall. So many places to look at it and different views. It's just cool. Cool, yeah. Okay, we have driven to our third spot. What's it called? Delta Tunku Kvers. Try to say that. <laughs> Try to spell it in the comments. Yes. And I'm gonna show you in just a little bit. It's not much of me just talking because there's just so many things we have to see and then we're just driving and listening to music. And I don't want to get copyrighted. I don't even know if I can monetize this video yet, but still, I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> Let's go and see. There's a uh, much steam going from the ground. There is. A ma well, many, a many I, steam. Should I take my cowboy hat? <laughs> The sun shining in my eyes, it's bright as day. Look at this. There's actually a spa here. It's called Krauma. Do you see it? 
Can you see? And it's a geothermal bath and spa. And we didn't know that, but it's small, so it's okay. We're going to see many others, but uh, just if you want to check it out. This is not the spa. <laughs> no, it's, it's 100 degrees. Yeah. You're gonna get boiled alive if you try to use that as a spa. Wow. We have stopped to grocery shop a little bit and look at this. Oh my god. You can't even see it properly on camera, but it's humongous. And you can see so many details, but it isn't really showing on camera. Wow. had a long drive and we're both very very hungry I ate a little pasta thing but it didn't really help much on my stomach we had to drive one and a half hours from where we were grocery shopping to get to where we are sleeping tonight and Annika is just inside asking where it is and specifically and then one other thing that we had to cross off is actually right down there like I can see it from here but we have to go closer to it that will be in the morning or later tonight there's midnight sun here so we still have three and a half hours of daylight before the sun really sets it has begun, but it's still light outside. Like, it's very different day to day how much light there is after midnight. But I don't know. It seems to me today that it's gonna be a bright night. I don't know. I'm very tired because I'm so hungry. My leggings are very tight, so it's, it doesn't help my stomach. It just hurts. But I'm so happy to have arrived, and there is a magical, magical view. It's so beautiful. I really can't believe it. It's just amazing and I'm just in awe and I'm grateful and I feel so privileged and everything is so, so good. But we have bought a lot of stuff for a good dinner. So we just have to set up our tent, first figure out where we have to do it. And then we'll start up the grill and make ourselves a good dinner. But it's actually 8.30 at night. It's quite late already. I can see her mobile just got a notification from her bank so I think she just bought it and we are at the right place and everything is being settled. Some of the mountains have snow on top and it looks so close but we can see that the clouds are under the top of the mountains so I know it's far away but it still looks like it's so close but when you see sheep compared to the mountains they're just small dots so I just, I, I can't comprehend it correctly in my brain, I think. It's, um, it's a wild experience and I know I can film stuff and take pictures, but it's just not the same as being here. And it just, the mountains are so rough and I don't know, I can't explain it. It's just wonderful. If you ever can and have the means to travel to Iceland, do it. It's an amazing experience. I've been snacking a lot, eating this whole bag and it wasn't even my favorite. It's here and I'm hungry. Hello. Hello. Is everything? We got the camping. Great. Our first camping. Was it with the... Um... No, no. No. Everything was full booked for electricity. Okay. But that was what we discussed. Yeah, I know. I don't know. But we I have just to find to a know. place in A, B or D. Okay. Great. It's gonna be good. I'm just excited to eat. I'm cleaning with a view today. This is so nice. Wow. I've got something to dry everything with.